Hello, it's Olimik. Have you ever seen spacer like this that goes on a mass airflow sensor? Sellers advertising that this spacer make your car consume less fuel and increase horsepower. If you are searching and willing to buy one, let me test it out before you spend your money. If we searched on Google, there are so many sellers for these mass airflow sensor spacer and selling for pretty high price for a piece of plastic. When I zoomed in, I realized it's 3D printed. So I'm gonna design it on SketchUp. It's easier and faster if I make my own, since I know about 3D modeling and I have 3D printer. I'm 3D printing with heat resisting material so it doesn't damage with the engine heat. Alright, we have our spacer and all we have to do is disconnect the wire harness and remove these two screws and put the spacer on the mass airflow sensor and put it back. So the idea with this spacer is to make the mass airflow sensor high as possible to make it less sensible to the airflow. When the mass airflow sensor is sensing less air, then it will consume less fuel through the fuel injectors. So in this case, it will manipulate the air fuel ratio, but I'm not sure about increasing horsepower. But I do know we are sending more air to less fuel. Now we will need a longer screw, about double the length of the original one. So we're gonna be testing out for one week so the car's computer adapt with this kind of change. Alright, it's tight and not gonna leak air. But first, I will reset average fuel economy, even though I did the same reset a week ago. So we have previous week data without spacer, and we will have the next week's data with the spacer. It's been after a week I'm driving this car, and the fuel average economy dropped from 13.7 12.3. But when I'm trying to pass a car, it feels like the engine suffocating. It is exactly like when you have clogged fuel filter or poor fuel pump. So basically the car's engine on lean burning, which means less fuel, more air. So I'm gonna remove it and gain that missing engine power. In my opinion, it doesn't worth it and missing air fuel mixture. So it is making the car's engine consume less fuel because it is messing up with the air fuel mixture, but it's not increasing horsepower. Matter of fact, it is decreasing horsepower. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.